Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Let me see the project tracking people motion based on extended condensation algorithm. Let me discuss about the concept of the project tracking people motion based on extended condensation algorithm. In this project, we propose the method lowest algorithm. In this project, we count the humans in the project. This accounting is based on the video persons. We inputted a video, the persons are in the video. We count the persons based on the Lloyd's algorithm. Lloyd's algorithm is nothing but it is performing the k means clustering. This paper, people tracking and counting has been proposed by detecting and tracking human motion used Lloyd's clustering. Lloyd's algorithm is used to provide a deterministic output. We propose this to track people with inclusion of different features such as height, size and movement. The extended particle filter with random reinitialization provides the probabilistic and multi-mode characteristic required to carry out multiple hypothesis tracking. In this project, we inputted a video as the video is then converted into frames. Each frame consists as background frames. This the background image is then subtracted from the given frame. The converted frames are con converted into black and white frames. The black and white regions are considered as a block. Each block is covered with the region. This is the region considered as one part. This is based on this part. Counting process is going on. From this method, we count persons in the video. In this project, we propose Lloyd's algorithm. This measures the 3D measurement. K means algorithm gives high accuracy. In this video, minimum this the video consists 50 frames. It gives approximately the count. The count is based on the frame to frame. After that, we finalize the count by calculating the maximum value from overall frames. By this way, this project is happened. Let me see the flow of the project tracking people motion based on extended condensation algorithm. Initially, we give one input video. Thus, the video is calculated the human person counting. This the video is converted into number of frames. Each frame is considered as an image. All the frames are loaded in a one folder. Then perform pre-processing. Pre-processing is a step. Remove the noisy pixels from the e image. Each image are performing pre-processing this remove noisy pixel the denoised frames are further considered for the next process this is the next process is the particle filtering we perform particle filtering to randomized particle filtering these particles are calculated and randomly split the particles from the image and then perform background subtraction this is the step to perform subtract the given frame from the background frame the subtracted image is used to further process because the subtraction is delete the background wall images and small small particles this is a subtracted image consists of black and white e pixels only so the black and white pixels are originated in a label. We set label to each origins. Each origins are considered as a blog. Each blogs are calculated. Each frame considered the counting process for blogs. 
in the calculator block numbers are stored in array this is the process of Lloyd's algorithm method Lloyd's algorithm is performing segmentation that is k-means clustering is performed the clustered particles are considered as a blobs each blobs are counted this performance is considered for all frames of a video finally the counter numbers are collected and get the maximum value from the counting final result is the maximum counting value is considered as a counting people let me see the running procedure of the project tracking people motion based on extended condensation algorithm these are the functions used in our project right click on the main data file and press run file button initially press play video button to play the video and the selected video is played and there was the video consists more people and the more people are counted in this process pressing play video it selected the video and automatically play the video in the specified axis I specify the first axis to play the video then next process the pre-processing pre-processing button perform pre-processing step to the selected video that perform the pre-processing step that is remove the unwanted noisy pixels from the video all the frames are noise no, all the filters are denoised in this video it, the video is converted into all frames and uh, filtering process done and then reprocess the video and play in the next axis then perform particle filtering particle filtering is used to perform particles on the selected video in this project we use random particle filtering this the particles are randomly placed on the video this the this placed on the moving pixel that is moving person's point then perform view background subtraction the background subtraction is a process perform the background subtraction the background and the video or video frames are subtracted and displayed in the separate window the video are subtracted that consists only in black and white pixel if the white pixels are considered as a separate block these blocks are counted then press the button count the count button counts the persons in the video each frame then press the exit button to close all the windows that are opened that is the final process thank you